Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. We're on the ice uh, trial right now, and uh, after that we should have all the shrines on the little tutorial area, and we can open ourselves up to the rest of the game, go wherever the heck we want. And to start with, I'll probably actually be going the way that the game recommends, because this is Master Mode. Which, I mean, uh, are you guys enjoying the fact that it's on master mode and that I'm kind of taking enemies very seriously and trying to be as careful as I can with all of it? If so, be sure to let me know. Because I'm hoping that makes it more interesting. I definitely, I mean, you know, definitely glad to be doing that because I haven't played the game in a while. It's nice to return to it and have it be kind of different and stuff, you know? I should change... Uh, let me let me just use up the last of this club. Mm. All right, charge! The button. Okay, that's not the parry. Not what I meant to do. So getting used to these controls. It's been a while. I tried to parry. I missed. Honestly, if he kills me, I'll let him kill me. I'm not going to waste food. Because it probably just put me right back at the start of the shrine. That one's still pristine. I should use this one. Wait. Oof. Don't know if that explosion will actually hurt, but they don't want to take any chances. Ah, there you are. The hidden chest. That the only one? Yep. Okay. And that's four. Definitely going to be getting hearts first, because I need to be able to survive and more easily in terms of uh, upgrades. And besides, I also want to get the Master Sword, Master Sword as soon as possible, so I'm definitely going to uh, get tons of hearts. I forget exactly how many you need. I'll probably not look it up and just kind of keep it a secret to myself so that I actually kind of risk dying trying to pull the sword out, but... uh, uh I think it's like it's either like nine or twelve or something like that in that ballpark. With this, you have now acquired all the spirit orbs from the shrines on this plateau. Oh, ho, ho, extraordinary! That means it is finally time, Link. It is finally time for me to tell you everything. But first, Imagine an X on your map with the four shrines as the end points. Find the spot where those lines intersect. I shall wait for you there. Do you understand? Where, where two lines connecting the shrines would cross, there I will be waiting. Oh shit, they're asleep. I'm not going to fight them, but I am going to steal their meat. And maybe some of their weapons.
Where are their weapons? Oh, they're up against them. Just the one weapon. Right, I don't have the hand glider yet. <laughs> I almost jumped off that cliff. This is actually one of the reasons- Whoa! <laughs> what the hell game? Is it because they're supposed to be pushing those down? Uh... Jesus. This is one thing I really like about playing games on harder difficulties. Especially in games where you have the potential to avoid fights, is that every encounter you see becomes much more of a decision than, say, a distraction. I hear arrows. Actually, wait, no, these guys are easy to kill. They just, like, you just hit them, like, once their head falls off and you hit them again. And... There we go. Surely there's something really crappy I can drop. I feel like this will break soon enough, so let's just get the arm. What is the fastest way to it? Oh yeah, I can just I can warp closer. Why why don't I just do that? One armor set I'll have to make sure I get as soon as possible is the uh, the stealthy set. So I can avoid fighting things. I'll probably try to uh, use campfires to rest and just only explore at night if I can. That way I can uh, steal their stuff so I can get the weapons and stuff like that without needing to fight them. I feel like that'll be a good way to kind of start out the game. Get good equipment and get prepared without needing to fight the uh, harder dudes. Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. I'm probably going to do a series on that as well. Assuming it's not going up at the same time as this one. <laughs> because that is a game I rather enjoy. I, I especially like the uh, single player in most Smash games. I mean, some of them aren't really that don't have that much going on with them, it's just like, you know, classic mode, but anytime they actually have a, like a... Oh yeah, I forgot there's like a sword in that. You'll get it. Give me that pass. Okay. But uh, anytime there's like a decent story in like a fighting game or something like that, I always love playing it. I actually love the new Soul Calibur because it actually has a lot of story stuff. A rusty broadsword. Right, I have to drop another thing. <laughs> Link. Am I gonna need that leaf anytime soon? I'm gonna need this spear, I think. Right here. Ah, damn. Let me get some screws out of these guys. Let's finish off this club. Oh, wrong button. There's, uh, there it is. Anything weaker than the other 
arm there. Do five damage. You really hang on to a torch. And Actually, you don't really need an axe to cut down the tree. Just more efficient at it. And this can be handy. But they're also not the hardest thing to get, so let's go ahead and just swap it. Definitely as soon as I get the opportunity, I'm going to want to start trying to essentially farm these guys. Because, um... They give, uh... Screws and stuff like that that they drop are pretty pricey. So if you can get into a habit of farming them, like whenever the Blood Moon shows up, you can get a good chunk of rupees, which makes getting equipment and stuff like that. A sneak attack. All right. Wow, those things do not last long. Oh, no. Ah, damn it. No, that's not what I wanted to do. It hit the same button, but instead it freaking... It was the same button, but it did that because I accidentally used the stasis thing like not too long before that. I'll take that. Alright, let's eat something. Actually, I'm about to upgrade my health, which I think will give me full health. So let's not worry about that. A bomb arrow? Just randomly in a pot? That's awesome. Oh, let me go ahead and drop one of those. Then. Okay, so note to self, the arms do decent damage, but they break really fast. What the hell is that sound? Can't get enough of those ancient screws, ancient screws. Oh, ancient gears. You who have conquered the shrines and claimed their spirit orbs, I can offer you great power. It appears you have claimed four spirit orbs. In exchange for four spirit orbs, I will amplify your being. So tell me what it is that you desire. A heart container, please. You wish for another heart container? Yes. Yes. I shall grant the power you seek. and bring peace to Hyrule. Oh! Rising of the Goddess has made you that much more resilient, I see. <laughs> here I am. Get up here, quickly. I think uh, it was a long time ago I saw it, but I think uh, when the Game Rooms played this game, right when it came out, Aaron somehow managed to find the old man by accident because he was just kind of exploring around the place. And so he, he didn't upgrade his uh, art container or anything before leaving. Which, I mean, in hindsight, I'd probably change it so that you have to get a container or stamina vessel before he even shows up. Just to make sure. Because once it gives you that paraglider, you're like, alright, I'm done here, and you just book it. <laughs> well done there, young one. Now then, 
The time has come to show you who I truly am. I was King Rome Bosphoramus Hyrule. I was the last leader of Hyrule. A kingdom which no longer exists. <laughs> the Great Calamity was merciless. It devastated everything in its path, Lo. A century ago, it was then that my life was taken away from me. And since that time, here I have remained in spirit form. I did not think it wise to overwhelm you while your memory was still fragile. So rather than that, I thought it best to assume a temporary form. Forgive me. I think you are now ready. Ready to hear what happened. 100 years ago. To know Calamity Ganon's true form, one must know the story from an age long past. The Demon King was born into this kingdom, but his transformation into malice created the horror you see now. Stories of Ganon were passed from generation to generation in the form of legends and fairy tales. But there was also prophecy. The signs of a resurrection of Calamity Ganon are clear, and the power to oppose it lies dormant beneath the ground. We decided to heed the prophecy and began excavating large areas of land. It wasn't long before we discovered several ancient relics made by the hands of our distant ancestors. These relics, the Divine Beasts, were giant machines piloted by warriors. We also found the Guardians, an army of mechanical soldiers who fought autonomously. This coincided with ancient legends oft repeated throughout our land. We also learned of a princess with a sacred power and her appointed knight chosen by the sword that seals the darkness. It was they who sealed Ganon away using the power of these ancient relics. One hundred years ago, there was a princess set to inherit a sacred power and a skilled knight at her side. It was clear that we must follow our ancestors' path. We selected four skilled individuals from across Hyrule and tasked them with the duty of piloting the Divine Beasts. With the princess as their commander, we dubbed these pilots Champions, a name that would solidify their unique bond. The princess, her appointed knight, and the rest of the champions were on the brink of sealing away Ganon. But nay. Ganon was cunning, and he responded with a plan beyond our imagining. He appeared from deep below Hyrule Castle, seized control of the Guardians and the Divine Beasts, and turned them against us. The champions lost their lives, those residing in the castle as well. The appointed knight, gravely wounded, collapsed while defending the princess. And thus, the kingdom of Hyrule was devastated absolutely by Calamity Ganon. However, the princess survived to face Ganon alone. Link, you are our final hope. The fate of Hyrule rests with you. That princess was my own daughter, my dear Zelda. And the courageous knight who protected her right up to the very end. 
That night was none other than you, Link. You fought valiantly when your fate took an unfortunate turn. And then you were taken to the Shrine of Resurrection. Here you now stand, revitalized 100 years later. The words of guidance you have been hearing since your awakening are from Princess Zelda herself. Even now, as she works to restrain Ganon from within Hyrule Castle, she calls out for your help. However, my daughter's power will soon be exhausted. Once that happens, Ganon will freely regenerate himself, and nothing will stop him from consuming our land. Considering that I could not save my own kingdom, I have no right to ask this of you, Link. But I am powerless here. You must save her, my daughter, and do whatever it takes to annihilate Ganon. Somehow, Ganon has maintained control over all four divine beasts, as well as those guardians swarming around Hyrule Castle. I believe it would be quite reckless for you to head directly to the castle at this point. I suggest that you make your way east out to one of the villages in the wilderness. Follow the road out to Kakariko village. There you will find the elder Impa. She will tell you more about the path that lies ahead. Consult the map on your Shika slate for the precise location of Kakariko village. Make your way past the twin summits of the dueling peaks. From there, follow the road as it proceeds north. Hmm. It actually went dim because it took so long. Go on, here is the paraglider, just as I promised. Oh. With that, you should be able to safely fly off the cliffs surrounding this area. And I think that's it. I'll do everything I can. Link, you must save Hyrule. If my memory serves correctly, there's like a bow in here, like a pretty nice one. Oh yeah, oh, my inventory's full. Only one of these. Now, one thing I wonder is, you notice that there's the little um, Triforce in the bottom left. I wonder if that ha I wonder if that's there as like a watermark for Nintendo to very really easily like copyright claim videos. You know, it's like out the the Hyrule or the the Triforce markers down there. Got to copyright it. If so, that's a dick move. Although it might just be there because it's on master mode. No idea. Uh, but uh, yeah, with that said, um, we're actually gonna end this episode here. On the next episode, we fly our way off of Tutorial Land. And uh, we go see the rest of the world. We're probably going to head over to that tower over there next because on the way to where we got to go. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this series. If you are, be sure to leave a like. Uh... Oh, sorry, I'm bad at address. If you are, be sure to leave a like and uh, let me know how you're enjoying the series uh, so far. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.